outside in an AMG Right outside TT Two turn baby girl you know me Still with the dolls that I grew beside All the niggas around me I had a guy Gotta watch the time Welcome back to another vlog my Kendra's I'm about to go downstairs and get into the Uber Cause me, Jayla and Jade we're gonna do sip and paint tonight It's supposed to be ugly sweater vibes but your girl don't own no other sweater, so I just threw on this really cute two piece that I'm gonna show you guys later. And I'm about to get on Jayla's camera because this girl done left her damn camera at my house. Let me get on her camera real quick. Hey y'all, I just wanted to drop in. Jayla done left her camera at my house, but I'm about to meet her and we're gonna do something paint. Meet her and Jade. I just wanna drop in and say hey, we're gonna have some fun tonight. Mm -hmm. And her battery about to die. Oh, that's so sad. Um, yeah, so let me head out this door before my Uber leaves me. Have a good night. I'm sitting outside in this Uber. We've been outside for like at least three, four minutes now. And this girl has not came outside yet. I gave her heads up like 15 minutes ago. We already late. We always late. We already late. We supposed to be there. It started at eight. Oh, that's her, that's her. My baby, I like you. like you. My baby, I die for you. Like see you. You know, you know, I see you. My baby, you know, you know, I ride with you. Uh. My baby, I don't cover that I die for you. Uh. I pray to the Lord. Finally, guys. All right. I've been crazy. Okay, so I just made it back home, guys. The last time I did sip and paint was like in 2017. Yeah, 2017 was the last time I did sip and paint. And I had a lot of fun. It was during the day. This time, it was super fun. It was definitely giving like more intimate vibes, which was so cool, especially, you know, saying during this pandemic or whatnot. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. Me and Jayla had a lot of fun. Um, and y'all saw my Christmas painting. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just not in the Xmas spirit. So we were definitely giving yin and yang um, at the sitting paint. But you know what I'm saying, that's great. You know what I'm saying, we gotta balance each other out or whatnot. So yeah, I had a lot of fun. I'm definitely about to pull an all nighter tonight. I got a lot of stuff to do before I fly out tomorrow. I am flying to Virginia tomorrow to spend time with my family for Christmas. So yeah, I'm just gonna definitely pull an all nighter because my flight is at like 2 p.m. So I need to be at the airport at like 11.30 the latest. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna be up all night just like taking care of business, packing, um, and taking photos for myself for my new website. And then we have to go to the airport, and then it's just a lot. We got a lot on our plate. I'm trying to knock out so much before the end of the year, so that way, you know, come January 1st, you know, I'm on like track. You know, I don't plan to complete everything before the New Year's, but I plan to at least be on track, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I had a lot of fun today. I don't know, for some reason I wasn't really feeling the shortcut um, today, but I think it looked cute for the picture, so I'm just gonna go downstairs before I get to work. I'm gonna go downstairs and take a picture of myself in my outfit. So I had this outfit since 2020, but y'all know that was before I got my um, BBO. So I definitely feel like I definitely rocked this outfit tonight. It was super cute, so I don't wanna waste it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture downstairs 
and that's gonna probably most likely be my thumbnail and um yeah I get to work so that was fun and I will see you guys tomorrow <laughs>
officially. She won't let me kiss her, girl. Oh, <laughs> COVID is tearing families apart. <laughs> Tearing families apart. Family, 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 family. Oh, I haven't tried yours. Stop. Stop. This is my homemade strawberry preserve. And what's the other one? Fig. Fig and oh, strawberry. Oh no, that's strawberry. Preserve. This too strawberry. Where the fig at? Thank you. Get that off. Can't open it. Get a bed. I want a fancy bed like you. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Christmas Eve? Oh, we're matching. Three generations. Oh, this is cute, Grandma. This is cute, Mama. Thank you. Put my scarf on my bed. How my scarf on my head? <laughs> People think you're beautiful, Grandma. <laughs> my Mama won't let me kiss her, y'all. Like you. <laughs> <laughs> Look like you. Oh, whatever. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> and it's warm. Look at this. Neighbors then came by and dropped off some cookies. Oh, I love this. Some homemade cookies. Aww. Hey guys, so it is the day after Christmas. I did not vlog much because we've literally just been like chilling in the house. The beauty of my parents having a new home, like it's just a total vibe. Like we don't even have to really go anywhere. Look at this dining like cafe area table. This is like so cute. I love what my mom is doing to the place. She's not even done yet. Just look at the details of everything. I think it's just so cute. I love this color combo that she has going on over here is super cute yesterday we ended up me my mom and my grandma ended up watching the binge watching the entire um, season of harlem i think that's what it's called um i put the information like right here it's really good it's, it's literally like a black modern day sex in the city it was so good what did it do <laughs> I, I bet you i bet you 95 percent of y'all didn't even know i had a brother <laughs> so what's up you guys say what's up? You. Okay, we're about to take a drink. We don't like drinking alcohol. Literally, yin and yang. Okay, ready? Cheers to New Year, to goals for the quarter, and um, yeah, living our best life. Oh, and he's expecting. Yeah. Hopefully, it's a girl. Okay, ready? Hi, hi, Hey. He ain't nothing wrong with it. I don't like it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I don't like the aftertaste. Me too. You I, want think it? I think I burnt it, Mama. I can see it. Yeah, yeah, you burnt it. <laughs> Y'all got sex sauce? Oh, no. Lord. It's not just cut it real thin. Cause normally, look, I don't really, I don't really work well with um the frozen meat. That's why. So you know what you do? You take a big knife and slice it down another one. Oh, I do like it full. Uh huh? I feel like it holds more juice that way when it's whole. No, because you cook it, you can cook it in less time. It's not bad. It's not. No, it's not bad. Okay. What is it, peppers? Huh? Peppers in here. Yeah, you don't like peppers? No, I don't like onions either. <laughs> Eat it. Eat it. Uh, Can you play with it's you? It's alright though. Mm. It's okay. Mm hmm What about the shrimp? I'm about to try it now. It's okay. Oh, yeah. You like shrimp? Mm hmm. Okay, good. Yeah, it tastes like. 
This tastes like like you go out back and you ask for the steak well done. Yeah. And they give it to you over done. No, this is not bad because I like my steak well done. And if it's a little burnt, I don't care. I don't, I don't eat it like how y'all do. Like medium well, whatever y'all be talking about. Oh. I can eat this in a salad. I just thought he said, if it weren't for your mama, I wouldn't be eating no salad. You I salad? eat salad now, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I know. I put it in there inside. I don't never take that credit away from her. <laughs> that was years ago. Oh, yeah, she made me eat that salad. I kept telling her, no, she said, you gonna eat the salad. <laughs> I was like, alright, I tried it. Ever since I've been eating salad. I don't <laughs> 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 you know, eat your salad. I probably think you're gonna be hard. Yeah, it was something like that. <laughs> it's good, ain't it? Oh, for real. Yeah. <laughs> the peppers taste good. The, uh, yeah, the peppers taste good. I'm just, I'm a texture type of eater. So I like the flavor of mm -hmm. onions and peppers. Mm -hmm. but I don't like the way they feel. They feel slimy. How? What do you mean how? Look at them. Close your eyes. Close my eyes. You wouldn't even know this between that and the spinach. Okay. Grab one of them. Like. I know what it feel like. Man. I don't like the way they feel. Mm -hmm. That's good too. Go ahead. No, it ain't. Heal. Heal. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. You don't like me? I can put some more. You want some ginger? Here. No, I don't. No, no, no. no. This is ginger. Ginger? It's not. Okay. No, that's ginger. That's good. Same ginger ale. Same thing. It's actually better. No, it's ginger beer. Yeah, it tastes better. Okay. Way better. Way better. Dang man, ginger ale trash compared to that. No, this is trash. What? This tastes like. This tastes like um, sparkling water with a little bit of ginger on it. That don't taste like no sparkling water. Yes, it do. That tastes like straight ginger with a nice little you know carbonation to it. You what? know why? It, look at that. Brooklyn, New York. That's why it's great. No, it need to be from Virginia. Ew. What's so special about Virginia? I'm from here. That's what's special about it. I'm from Virginia too. Don't you don't claim special. it. I do. You claim everywhere else but Virginia. Every time somebody asks me where you from, I say Virginia. But I live here. Hell yeah, because that's where I live. <laughs> you need to come back home. Mm-mm. For what? Because. Mm-mm. Why not? So, just made it home <laughs> from Virginia and um, I had a smooth flight, but my luggage got freaking stuck at the damn layover. So, I'm frustrated about that because, you know, like all my makeup and stuff and all the bear stuff is in there. So, it's kind of like setting my schedule back right now because I definitely need my makeup to do with it, all that I need to do today. <laughs> but it's cool. Uh, I'll be patient. On my Uber ride home, I had some time to think because when I got off the plane, I saw someone comment underneath my latest photo on Instagram, which is sometimes confusing to me. It was very much confusing to me because I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like if you feel so impelled or you want to get something off your chest or you want to tell me something, something like this, why leave the comment underneath my photo? Why not just DM me? I want to address it. I'm going to address it. I want to address it because I've also seen you guys comment on my last video. Um, some of you guys' comments on my last videos where I was just like, damn, y'all really think, like, do y'all really think that, I, I mean, I know that, I don't, I'm just going to get to the comment. The comment says, um, I just wanted to say that a man with dislocated your face should never have access to you. He should be able to still, he shouldn't be able to still contact you. Did you not press charges? I get a restraining order. Do you know that how that makes you look? Do you know how it makes you look that you didn't press charges? Uh, it makes you look like you like it, and ain't no way that he should have, he shouldn't have a restraining order on him. 
And then I'll also send you guys' comments underneath the last video where you guys are like, change your number, block him, why does he still have access to you, get a restraining order, did you not press charges, why isn't he in jail? And those are all valid questions. Those are all valid statements and questions, but there are a lot of things that's going on behind this camera lens that you just guys just don't know about. You guys are going to get my ups and my downs. You guys are going to get the good moments, the bad moments. You guys are gonna get the glam and the most embarrassing moments of my life, right? Um, because that's the type of content that I choose to create. Um, and I choose to create that content because I like to create relatable content and I have like relationships with my kindreds on Instagrams because of them DMing me and telling me that they appreciate my content for its authenticity, you know, its realness, its rawness and they feel that I bring a different type of aesthetic to um, the platform which is pretty cool. As long as I have those type of relationships with my kindreds, I'm going to continue to create content like this. So. Like I said, there's a lot of things that goes on behind the camera that you guys do not know about. And I do want to set the record straight because I don't want you guys thinking that I'm just this freaking lost cause slash soul. You know, I saw that some of you guys were insinuating and even assuming that I was still um, dealing with him, even intimate with him. And that last comment where they were like, it looks like that you like it. No, I don't like it. This is not funny to me. This is not, this is not, um, I don't get a kick out of this. Um, no, I'm not dealing with him. No, I damn sure am not intimate with him. Um, and I'm also gonna set the record straight. I've tried, I tried to get a restraining order. I'm trying, I have court hearings that I go to court. I've been going to court, but he has, hasn't been showing because they have not been able to serve him. So that's the problem that I'm running into, their inability to serve him with those papers. When the incident first happened, you know, um, it was just a lot going on at that time. I didn't know I didn't get a restraining order initially. I did not get a restraining order, but I did, you know, there was a police report filed and um, I did proceed with pressing charges. I'm like, yeah, I blocked him from my phone, but that's not gonna stop somebody from freaking contacting you at the end of the day you know my phone I have a business to run and my phone number I have two phones but one of my one of my numbers is online so you know I'm not gonna keep changing my number just to run away from this guy that should be in a freaking cage like he should be in a cage right like he should be in a cage right now like he should like he should want to leave me the hell alone but yes I did block his number and um but he can still contact me y'all know y'all know just because somebody block you or just because they change your number don't mean nothing they can still contact you somebody can contact you if, you, if they want to goddamn contact you so that's just is what it is and that's just what's going on um i've tried getting a um a restraining order after you know he called me that first time after those two months, he called me and all that crazy shit. You know, I was hurt, I was I was frustrated, I was angry, I was sad, I was confused, I was like the audacity. And I called the police that day. I called the police to file a report and y'all wouldn't even believe that I was on hold before I was even able to talk to an operator. I was on hold for like six minutes. Y'all know a lot of shit can happen in six minutes. I called 911 and nobody picked up the phone for at least like, Six minutes, if I'm not mistaken, in like fucking 30 something seconds. I was so confused. I was so hurt. And in that moment, I felt so alone. Like, I was just extremely emotional. Like, I, it's just that, that moment was a feeling that I, I know that I too can never forget. But when I finally got on the phone with the operator and I was telling her like what was going on, that I wanted to make a report and I wanted to you know, them to tell me how I can go about getting a restraining order. You know, she said she was gonna have an officer come out and talk to me. It was, it, it, I think it was two hours later. It was, it was like two hours later when um, a, an officer finally got in touch with me and, you know, asked the same questions, like what was going on and, you know, and just told me, well, you can file a police report online at this web, this website or whatever it is going to be. So, I don't 
don't know. That just, I don't know. That just at the moment, and in that moment, it took me for a, a world loop because I just felt like I was in such panic. I was because this this was fresh at that time. So I was just like in such a panic mode. I was very emotional, and I just felt like no one gave a fuck. Like I just felt like no one gave a fuck. So, you know, in that moment, I didn't even bother like going online and filing a report and doing all of that because I just felt like, well, if they don't care, you know, if I'm the only one that cares. Like, screw this. Like, I don't know. I was just like in a really, 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 really down space. But, um. I did wake up that next day and um, I went to the sheriff's department myself to file a police report and inquire about our restraining order. So after he called that first time, I did um, go to the courthouse and get the restraining order and all of that good stuff. But the phone calls kept freaking happening. The sheriff's department is telling me that they can't serve him because they don't know where he's at. Um, they don't know where, they can't locate him. They don't know where he's at. I don't have a valid address for him apparently because he doesn't live where um, I thought he lived anymore. So even like talking, trying to talk about this, and just like in a daze, and I feel like internally exhausted. I feel internally exhausted. I'm outside in a AMG. Right outside.